What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another Elite Code Challenge, maximum depth of n airy tree. Given an n airy tree, find its maximum depth. The maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root down to the farthest leaf node. So in this, tree, in this case, the maximum depth is uh, 3 because the farthest uh, down node is 5 and 6. This could be because, you, as you can see, the height of the tree would be 1, 2, uh, wait. Wait, hold up. Yeah, okay, wait. Actually, it would be three because we're counting the first one as a first level. So one, one, two, three. Okay, so that's the maximum depth uh, because five and six are the maximum depth of the tree. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, uh, what else? Do, do, do. Yeah, that's pretty basic. I'll go over the solution right now, and I hope you guys try to this on your own. Essentially, if the root is null, we return zero. Why? Because the height at null in this case, like two, two is like the children of two is null, right? Its height's gonna be zero. It's just like it, it just doesn't. There's no height for null uh, node. Okay. Then I'm gonna create a depth value of one. This is just the uh, depth value. That I'm gonna get so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through every single children of the root and get its max uh, I'm gonna get its max depth okay so I'm gonna go through every children of roots every children of root so for for every children of root it's uh, this is every children of root and I'm going to get max depth, get each depth of every children of the, all its children of root. Okay, that's what I'm doing here. Now, what do I need to do? I need to find the maximum of the root of every single children. Okay, so that's the reason why I created int depth equal one, because we know that this, the smallest depth possible is one, right? Uh, I mean, it could be zero, but honestly, if it's not null, we know the smallest possible depth is one. And I'm going to essentially get the max of all the children, all the children's depth. Okay, so this that's what this is doing. I'm getting the maximum value of all the children of its depth. So I'm calling max depth on all the for each child of root and that's going to get me a depth value for each child and then what I'm doing is I'm creating a variable called depth equal to one this is going to be the smallest possible value of possible for a non null root it's equal to one and I'm calling max essentially getting the maximum possible depth for every children and I'm setting equal to max so after this for loop um, I'm basically getting the max max va value of each children's depth and depth and it's going to get me the maximum possible value for every ch child every children's depth that's what it's doing like the maximum depth for each child for a child like the maximum possible this is this is essentially the same thing as set setting a variable uh, finding the largest value in an array because if I'm finding the largest value of array I just set the largest value to be the smallest one right and then I'm gonna update the largest value of the array by setting the maximum of the smallest value and the rest uh, for in each element of the array calling max on each element of the array in order to get the largest possible value so it's the same thing basically what what I'm doing here okay after that, I'm just going to return depth. Now, there's a key issue you have to think about is that every time I go down for each child, right? Every time I go down, I'm actually going down one more depth. Okay, so whenever I call max depth, max depth is going to return the depth of whatever. Um, the depth of the children, right? 
but I have to add one every time because if if I'm going down the child uh, the children the children of three is five and six right I have to add one to the depth of three right so in this case the depth of three is two because it's one one three and one and three right is a the because of the starting depth is has value one right so the height is going to be like one uh one two right so then the maximum depth of five is going to be one plus the maximum depth of three so it would be one plus two so that's why five is three right maximum depth of three that's why every time i go down a child i have to add one so that's what this is for plus one let's run the code Okay, I got an expected value. Submit it. And it got accepted. So that yeah, that's basically how you do this finding the maximum depth of an n -ary tree. I hope you guys understood this. Ray, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.